Hello YouTube, welcome to another unboxing test. Today I purchased a lamp from Govi. I don't know if I'm really saying the name right. This isn't really sponsored, so. But I I ordered this light from Govi and um, just because I have really high ceilings and changing light bulbs is quite a pain. So I got a lamp and I also wanted one to use my phone with to change and turn on versus hitting a switch as I'm used to. So let's get right to it. Let's unbox this baby. So this is the lamp right here and looks pretty legit. I like how it looks. It's called the cylinder floor lamp. Color temperatures range from 2200K to 6500K. And it's 360 lighting, so gets all angles. And there's a little tab here. There's an app for it. Let's get to it. I thought I would need my knife today. But with this ease of open, I might not. I guess we open it like this. Oh, fancy. Got the user manual. Don't really need that. Maybe, actually, maybe we do need that. I don't know what dream view is, so we'll just leave that over there with the user manual. Got the plug. Plug talk. Yum, yum, yum. We got, what is this? The base for the lamp, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm assuming. Let's just open this right away. Looks like a mini flashlight. This is... This looks like some nunchuck type of thing. What the? What the? What the? Anyways. This is definitely all screwed in together. Going to the top. I can already assume that, so we're just going to do that now. And skip a part in the build off, if you will. Pretty solid material. I'm liking it already. My room is kind of has a lot of white accents, so this fits in just nicely. And I'm assuming that goes there. You see, you don't even need instructions for this. It's that easy, guys. All right. Let's just leave that right there. And I'm, this is the actual light cylinder lamp. Wow, pretty nice. And that goes, I'm 100% sure it goes right there. If I've ever seen a male to female plug, plug that in, plug it in. Sorry, wrong product. Let me screw it. Looks like a little subwoofer type feel. But that's cool. Let's just get this in here without breaking it. And I'm assuming the base is at the bottom of this. Look at that. Oh my god, this thing's heavy. Uh, boom. All right. Ah! So we take this little plug right here, I'm assuming, and we put it through the hole so that we can connect it to the actual plug talk over here. Let's pull it through. And then we do a little righty tidy. When doing this, I feel like the thread is kind of tightening on its own. And that's good. It's very secure. Don't see it ever tilting. Woo! <laughs> Anyways, the only thing I'm concerned about is the fact that there's a plug on the bottom. And I'm not sure how that works. Cause there's no like spot where you could put it so that it like just ha doesn't sit on the floor with that whole bottom. That's some bad design, I think. I think they should have made like a little slit so you can hold it in one area. Yeah. Well, moving forward, we'll see how it goes. It's not gonna actually go there, but you get the idea. All right. So plug. 
Moment of truth. Let's see if it works. You see how like it's almost a little tilted? What? Like, is that because of the plug? Like, can we not? Whoa, this thing's bright. It looks like I'm about at a barber shop, honestly. So let's look at the direction, see if there's a something about the plug on the bottom so that it doesn't wobble. Nope, it just, you just put it there, just how I did it. That's really weird. All right, so now we have this barcode. Download the Gobi Home app. How do I, device, look for? All right, so how do I do this? It can turn your Gobi device into a node and achieve interconnection, allowing you to enjoy an automated life. All right, continue. Model 86078. That's not what I wanted. I'm trying to... Is there a button to select? Guess we do the QR code. There it is, connecting. That, that was more, oh, wow. That was a little bit difficult to figure out. You know, it doesn't really give much direction there, but maybe I'm just slow with this. All right, I get it, it's, you're pulsing. Relax, relax. Oh, press the on and off button, done. Oh, I gotta do my password. All right, be right back, guys. All right, I'm back. Had to connect to the Wi-Fi. Let's go to Vex Lab. Let's go with red. Oh, nice. Let's go with yellow. Let's go with green. All right. Now we can see the colors a little bit better. Go blue, purple, gray purple. Nice. Stars. Can we do stars? Earth? What's that? It's like a brick. Natural sunlight. Pretty bright. Can't even see it in the in the video. Anyways, oh, there's a brightness. There you go. All right, cool. Well, there's a lot of modes on this thing. Ideally, I get it so that I could coordinate it as I walk into my room. It automatically turns on, or I press a button on my phone pretty easily without opening the app. And overall, I can even turn it off and on just like that. Pretty cool. Enjoying it so far. Like I said, the only thing I'm disappointed about is the wiring as you see it's it's like angled a bit and that's just not that's poor design other than that I, I, I mess with it really like that and cool let's do a scene real quick let's do warm oh that looks like a fire guys that's cool maybe we do dancing it's, 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 it's. All right, well, it's pretty u easy to use in the app. Kind of like it so far. Um, there's probably more features that I'm not really aware of at the moment. But nonetheless, I can press get home, leave home. That's that's really nice. That's cool. I'll give it like a 4.8 out of 5 on a, on a scale if I really wanted to. It would have been a 5 out of 5 if that thing balanced correctly. This isn't sponsored in any way. I'm not providing a link. You could just look it up. It's called the Gobi Cylinder Floor Lamp, and I'm happy with my purchase nonetheless. So hopefully this has swayed you into buying one or not buying one. Either way, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you for the next unbox and test.